In this problem, we want to find out how loud you can play music without bothering your neighbors. We will be assuming open air and no wind. The sound system is 5 feet away from the listener and 100 feet from the neighbor outside. These values are also listed in meters. According to this website, about 50 decibels is allowed after 11 p.m., which is about the sound level of traffic or quiet conversation. We will set this for the neighbor's threshold for calling the police at 50 decibels. So, how do we go about solving this one? First, we need to get everything out of decibels. So a decibel is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity at the neighbor's location over the threshold of hearing, which is 10 to the negative 12 watts per meter squared. Next, we can divide both sides by 10 to get into the units of bells. The way the bell works is that every time we increase the numerator exponent by one more than the threshold of hearing, we get one additional bell of loudness. So the formula is 12, which is the absolute value, to the negative 12 the threshold of hearing is raised to, minus x, which is plugged into the top of the fraction behind the negative sign of the power. Solving this equation, we get that the intensity at the neighbor's location, or numerator, must be 10 to the negative 7 watts per meter squared. Now we need to recall the inverse square law, which was covered in a previous video. The too long didn't watch version is that if a sound wave travels from a single source at a distance of radius 1, it, the intensity is broadcasted over 1 square. And at a distance of 2 radius 1s, it is broadcasted over 4 squares, relatively. And at a distance of 3 radiuses, it is broadcasted over 9 squares. The intensity traveling outwards is broadcasted over the inverse square of the number of initial radiuses it is from the source point, intensity over the radius squared. Doing some rearranging, we get that the intensity at the listening condition, which is radius 1 condition, is equal to the intensity at the neighbor's location divided by the radius of the listener divided by the radius of the neighbor squared. Now we can plug in our neighbor's intensity and the radius of the listener and the radius of the neighbor into the equation. Pressing the energy on our calculator, we get 4 times 10 to the negative 5th watts per meter squared for the intensity at the listener's position from the speaker, or your position. Now we can plug this value into the decibel formula, and we get a decibel reading of 76.02 decibels. So if at 5 feet from the speaker it is at 76.02 decibels, which is about as loud as a vacuum cleaner, at 100 feet, it would be as loud as a quiet conversation, 50 decibels. I will have a link to an online calculator that I use to check my work in the description down below. For kicks, I decided to graph both the intensity in watts per meter squared and in decibels allowed at a distance of 5 feet from the source. You can see that the decibel function is logarithmic and the watts per meter squared function is in a power format. The two y-axes on this chart go up in a linear fashion. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.